Hello, friends. Welcome to Escaping the Malice with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, so I got a couple days off now before we uh, leave for Texas, and I'm going to spend a couple of these days uh, hanging out with Jordan a little bit. I'm driving up to Hollywood right now. We're going to go do something fun. I'm not going to tell you what it is because my vlog will probably be posted today and Jordan's vlog might take a couple days to get up. So you'll just have to wait until that happens to uh, see what, you know, see what's coming next uh, with him. So I got an appointment made today to have the next pod arrive at my house. It should be here on Wednesday morning. Hopefully I'll get it loaded up during the day and then we can get it out of here on probably Thursday morning. They usually don't do same day pickups unless you pay a lot of extra money for that. So I'll let them pick it up the next morning. At that point, I should be able to vacate the house and the new new owner should be able to come in. Um, considering the fact that Wednesday is the day that the uh, escrow is supposed to close, um, that is technically the day I'm supposed to be out of the house uh, at 6 p.m., I believe. Uh, should be able to do that, although I might actually see if I can spend the night Wednesday night and then... Uh, then uh, leave on uh, Thursday. Uh, there's basically three things that we have to do before we can go and uh, start the start the road trip to Texas. First thing, like I said, is I get that third pod uh, loaded up and out of here. I then have to get the cats transported to Texas. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. There's been a complication about that. And then uh, afterwards, uh, we just take off. Uh, Jordan has a five-day road trip planned. We're going to go visit a lot of cool things. Once again, I'm not going to give you any spoilers here uh, because Jordan likes his surprises, and we want to keep that, you know, keep that going. Uh, so right now, it looks like, like I said, the pod will be loaded on Wednesday. Thursday, I need to hopefully fly to Texas and bring the cats and get an apartment and then hopefully come back on Friday. And it looks at this point that we'll start our road trip on Saturday. So I uh, started looking for airline reservations today, uh, figuring that what I would do is uh, when I fly out, I'd just put the cats in the cargo hold and take them that way. Well, it turns out at least the airline I looked at, Delta, doesn't put pets in the cargo hold anymore. I can take them uh, with me on the plane, provided they're in a carrier that will uh, that's small enough to fit under the, underneath the seat in front of me, and obviously that's not going to work. Plus, uh, I can only bring one cat at a time. They won't let me have both of them in the air in, in the airplane with me unless I bring a second passenger. Uh, Delta recommended that Delta has a um, a shipping uh, line and that I could technically ship the cats there. And unfortunately, that's probably what I'm going to have to do, but it makes things way more complicated and way more expensive. Never would have known that you can fly a person from uh, Los Angeles to Dallas for a couple hundred bucks, but it's almost 500 bucks to send a cat uh, the same way. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out how that works. Uh, I've been looking at some of the uh, online options, and there's people, there's like companies that will... Uh, transport your pets, kind of a, a pet version of Uber, uh, but, you know, they they do that by driving, and we're looking to go 1,500 miles uh, under best case scenario. I figured that would be a three-day drive. I don't want to leave those cats in there for three days. That's bad, so, you know, I would still much rather find an option where I can fly them out to Texas and hopefully pick them up uh, in Texas when I'm there. Uh, getting an apartment and hopefully move them into the apartment before we have to fly back. Uh, so that's where we are right now. We're going to see how that all works. Uh, still got a lot of figuring out to do. And I'm going to be missing this face at some point. You just know that, right? Not going to see him much anymore. All right, I'm driving home now after visiting Jordan today. We had a great day vlogging, and you'll hear about that in a few days. Uh, 
But while we were hanging out, kind of doing a little research for our road trip this weekend, um, I got a call from the realtor and there's been another interesting little setback. Apparently the buyer is requesting that we push the closing date out 10 days. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit into the weeds again with this. I think I discussed this earlier. But what's going on is this buyer is attempting to buy my house using profit profits from another property he's sold. Uh, if he does that, he can avoid a huge capital gains uh, hit if he does that. So that's to his advantage to do it from a tax standpoint to do it that way. Uh, the problem is there's the money itself apparently is coming in from overseas and there's been a delay doing the transition of the money into the country. This is just the government sticking its nose into things and screwing them up again. So like I said, the realtor, the buyer wants to delay things by 10 days or by seven days, uh, have us close on the 17th. And the realtor kind of wanted to know what I thought about that, how that was going to affect me. Basically, this doesn't change my plan significantly because I'm still planning on uh, the pod is going to be here on Wednesday. And technically, I'm going to have everything moved out of the house uh, on the day on Wednesday, which means... Uh, I'll technically be able to vacate the house ahead of time, you know, and the house can just stay vacant for a week uh, while this goes on. The main issue is uh, if the if the closing is delayed, uh, my receipt of the my receipt of the money also is delayed, and that causes me problems because I have to pay for another pod. I have to pay to close out all the. Uh, all the utilities, the water, the cable, the gas, the electricity, all that fun stuff. I need to uh, I need to ship the cats to uh, to Texas, which looks like that's going to be about a thousand dollars to do that. Um, so you know, having that delayed, that kind of really delays when I can do things. Now, uh, when the offer was originally made, the buyer put down a significant deposit and I, the realtor is going to find out whether I can tap into some of that deposit because that will at least buy me some time. I understand the problem they're having but you know I have problems too. So uh, the realtor is going to check with that see if we can even do that. Additionally when we delayed closing 10 days uh, we were supposed to close on the 30th and then the, the buyer asked to push things out to the 10th uh, we said that's fine we'll do that but there will be no more delays and if there are additional delays then um, you know there's gonna be a fine for that and it's like a hundred dollars a day so that's gonna also be a factor you know I'll probably get a few extra hundred bucks out of that from from this whole fiasco So I'm going to wait and see what the realtor has to say tomorrow about whether we can do that. But that may be how we work our way out of this. Uh, right now, it doesn't look like it should delay our Jordan and my road trip uh, to Texas, which it, which it looks like it's going to start on Saturday. So that's where we are on that. Uh, one other thing, when I was over with Jordan here, he was uh, giving me some feedback on my vlogs. And one of the things he recommended was that... I'm too generic in my titles, and I'd, I guess I'd kind of realize the same thing. You know, the, the vlog title is Escaping the Mouse, episode number, and the date. That doesn't really tell you what it is. It's not going to provide any kind of incentive for people to say, oh, well, let's see what's in this one. So over the next few days or so, I'm going to probably rename all of the episodes I've done uh, just to, you know, like I said, create a little clickbait and see if we can uh, at least let people know ahead of time what it is that they're getting with each individual episode. So stay tuned for that. We're not going to delete any of the videos. Uh, they'll just have a different name. So anyway, I think that's all I have to say for now. So I'm going to once again thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.